Welcome to the first seminar of the Comparative Screenwriting Teaching Working Group. And I'm going to present a methodology I created for my students because they find it particularly difficult to create a character brief, but then to stick to it and make sense of it when working a plot, structure, but also character arc, of course. Now, I have put there also a text for everybody, if you cannot hear me very well, and I'm going to read it, and then we're going to have a discussion, and uh, you're more than welcome to ask me anything that uh, comes to your mind. So the character profile is a valid way to create a document containing information able to describe a character, but not to stimulate much thinking, I found. Then again, the matter here fails to find an answer in the form of a document. It can be better understood, however, if we ask uh, through which creative process the students arrive at the information to be listed in the character profile. There are, undoubtedly, many ways to address the need of more diversity in character development and teaching. In my case, in agreement with the idea that character is the vital material with which an author must work, but also that character is plot, a plot is character, as found in the body of classic Western screenwriting theories, and I put there a few names, and there are many more, and one of them, of course, is with us, Paul Gulino, and I'm really grateful. I looked at what step can a writer take, if any, really, in advancing the process of character development to make it more open to diversity and inclusivity. The simple route of working with my students prompt me to dare with something radically new but entirely familiar altogether. The development of a three-year pilot project for the observation and elaboration of a different method of character development for short films, as the format is notorious for its need for clarity, precision, and coherent structural vision. So what is this core and paradox method? The core and paradox method introduced the idea of a step to work on before the completion of a character profile, a step where the students work on a brain, the core paradox compass, with one core and one paradox, where the one paradox fits to the format of the short film. The brain, as core paradox compass, is worked on before it is planted within a physical body. Therefore, the brain is not given a gender, an age, a culture, or a time in which to live. In practice, the students work on the brain with a sense of the character they have in mind, or the story they want to tell, and therefore the decision taken on which kind of core and paradox the brain needs to be equipped with is always guided by a sense of direction which at this stage is required to be opened to further discovery. Consequently, offering to the students a two-step process of character development in which story elements will be attached to the character later, the method allows the students to test the brain, to analyze how it may react in different situations before embodying it and adding the sociocultural influences linked to geographical location, class, gender, backstory, and time. Once embodied in the character, the core and paradox compass influences the way they go about things and create a spectrum of tensions with both the world of the story and the story bits. Therefore, the core paradox method resulted helpful also in the exploration and identification of the story the students decide to tell. Focus and agency in taking these decisions allow the students to see storytelling processes at work and become aware of the writer's power in the telling. Therefore, not only they see how a story requires meaningful tension, which is commonly called conflict, and explore it with situ situating the core and paradox compass in situ to face obstacle and find solution, but they are able to estimate if that combination of core and paradox 
will help them as writer to generate more story elements, dramatic tension, and emotional releases for the audience in telling the story via specific plot. As they see that responses and decisions push the protagonist forward, could reveal their physical and emotional struggle, and force them to change and bring about a form of resolution of the story, the students understand the function of the character in the story in relation to plot, scenes, dialogue, and subtext. Working the brain of a character and put it to the test in different situations allow the students to explore the world of the story and to consider aspects of that world that combined with the characters can be thematically meaningful for the writer and their targeted audience, especially because the human interaction created by the existence of the current Paradox Compass are based on universal values chosen before they become predicated by any story element like culture, age, gender, and backstory. How does it work? The character core is the character's unavailable nature, what the character is and what the character reacts by at first. Consequently, the core is the quality that influences how the character looks at things, talks, and moves through the daily routine. The core works at different levels from the story elements, and therefore the students can test it in every version of the plot and story they may be exploring. Finding the right core for the character ensures consistency and familiarity, as establishing the character core helps to define the character in concrete terms for the audience. Once the core is decided, it becomes a powerful element in the writer's hands to guide the audience into the universe of the story, to set up and pay off reactions, as well as to offer consistent speech patterns. The concept of core is applicable also to feature films, of course. If we take the character of Anton, as found in the film No Country for Old Men, single-minded comes to mind as the kind of core the character seems to have. In this film, it takes less than a minute with the character to realize that given a problem, he would solve it in this story and plot by killing. The character paradox indicates a second innate quality of the character. The paradox can either greatly increase, support, and enhance the core, or can hinder, mellow, and contrast it. By deciding on a paradox, the student creates depth and attention within character. The right core combined with the right paradox can create unprecedented storytelling possibility, complex moral conundrum, and unanticipated turning points. As in the case of the core, the paradox is a quality to work on and test before taking a final decision on the story elements like gender, age, status, job, family, culture, or place of birth. If we take the character of Erin, as found in the film Erin Brokovich, and analyze what kind of core and paradox the character could have, caring as the core and ambitious as the paradox come to mind. Of course, to carry a feature film of this length, Erin is supported by a few paradoxes. The result of the combination of caring and ambitious is visible in the way she moves through the plot. As for the character profile, Erin is the outcome of the stereotype she's caged in. However, even if she's a single parent and an underpaid paralegal without any real power, she's committed to the case she follows. Her core propels her action and reaction. The paradox intensifies her ability to go on and win precisely because of her core paradox compass qualities. Results so far. I'm sorry, what is, did you ask something? No, 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 no. I just said resides so far. Oh, I'm well, sure you just read what was there. I thought yes, had... yes. No, 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 no. I we will have the conversation in a minute. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Definitely. So, uh, um, this uh, this kind of method, of course, uh, is uh, applied to my students, which are international, and um, it helps them voice stories that are very different than our usual Western stories. And especially when we're talking about ascended cinema as defined by Amit Nafsifi. Applied simultaneously to the exploration of situation with the core and paradox method, the students tested 
the created brain in the intended story universe, relationship and emerging story. Accordingly, to the general feedback, the students reflected on the results and went back to re-engineering the brain until the combination of core and paradox was satisfactory to them. Often, satisfactory materialized by the sudden realization that by adding the brain to the situation, an additional layer of reactivity is created, which helps with sufficient depth to prepare the story and support a possible team. Here we're talking about coherence and we're talking about also opening doors to students to think about all the elements of the story, the telling and the screenplay, of course. Therefore, they generally coming back to the drawing stage, if the first few core and paradox combination do not work, uh, they find it important to think and go back and forwards to possible solutions and they explore possibility previously unimagined, but emerged by the testing of the brain situation and in debate with the potential brains of the character. And very often the story changes and very often they find something that generally they would find later on, sometimes also after the first draft, which is the team. The possibility to avoid immediate commitment to a character also is very important because it opened the initial idea of a story to the fortunate event of a sudden realization of what a specific current paradox compass can highlight and the plethora of possible stories to tell from which to choose the one the students feel right.